All right, so in this video, I have a collaboration sneaker that you guys probably haven't heard of yet. It kind of went under the radar, but the release happened, and these things are crazy nice in hand. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. What is going on guys, Has here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. If you guys are interested in buying a pair of these, I will link these right now for you guys in the description also. And I just wanted to show you guys the pictures before I tell you guys what brand they are, uh, just to show you guys what they are. So these are the shoes. Leave a comment if you guys don't know what they are and your initial impressions of the shoes. They are really, really crazy looking. So I'll be curious to see what you guys say about the sneakers before you guys hear that these are Reeboks. But they are Reeboks, and this is the Zig Connecticut again. So this is the second pair that I have in my collection now. This is the first colorway that I got, and I just absolutely love the model. I think it looks so crazy, super sleek, and just very future thinking. But then they came through with this collab from Kenzo, which is insane. Like, this one looks so wild and crazy. And back in 2005, he did an Insta Pump Fury a collaboration with Reebok as well. So this is kind of like a follow-up to that. But back then, that one was known as one of the best uh, Insta Pumps of possibly all time. A lot of people really, really like that one. Anyways, this one is a new model, the uh, Zig Kinetica that I definitely have already mentioned that I really love. But honestly, 100%, this one is more comfortable on feet than this one. And I think part of the reason why is because the tongue on this one is a little bit rough edged versus the tongue on this one is soft edged. So I can actually wear these ones with uh, low ankle socks and it doesn't bother my feet as much. This one, if I wear with really low cut ankle socks, it does kind of cut in to my ankle a little bit. But that problem is actually solved on this pair, which is pretty rad. And this one is actually $160 and I think the other one was $180. So uh, it's actually a lower price point and uh, it's more comfortable in my opinion. So just a little bit about the design from Kenzo Minami, if that's how you say his last name, I apologize if I'm butchering it, but he basically says art is attitude, breaking through the barrier, going into warp speed, distortion of the space, dimensional jump, and so on. The silhouette suggests abstract representation of time and space combined. Uh, definitely really, really crazy looking design. I mean, I, I, I really dig it. There's a 58 on the tongue right there, and that actually represents the year that Reebok started in 1958. There's also a 58 back down here. So it's definitely like a walking art piece with this one. I mean, look at the midsole. It's like a clear rubberized midsole over top of this crazy like black design. And I love the way they're able to tell the stories on these sneakers with all the different prints on the shoe. It really comes together well. So on the midsole, there's a print, but on the upper also, it's kind of like a neoprene type material that has some wavy designs and the texture of it. But over top of it, you can see the design is really like a block pattern all over and just super crazy. Uh, design elements all over the shoe. Kind of reminds me of the Tokyo Air Max 1s from last year that Nike dropped. In the front area, there's not really any reinforcement over the toe box area, but it is just that same kind of uh, neoprene type material up the sides of the shoe. Then you have a little bit of a wing that comes up in the front here, and then there's mesh underneath for the tongue, as well as some reinforcement for the laces uh, up both sides, which kind of adds a nice little uh, utility effect, which this one has like the most utility type look with the uh, strap that kind of goes across the shoe. You don't have that one on this version. Just for clarification, this is the Zig Kinetica, and this is the Zig Kinetica Type 1, which is like more like a prototype sort of feel to the shoe. In the plastic heel support, you have a uh, logo right here on the side for Reebok, and then it kind of goes up and around here, and then you have that rubber notch, which is the same as on the Type 1. Then you do have a forward, then you have a forward and backward air on the back, like space time continuum sort of thing and then uh, just a bunch of different little elements all over the shoe, which are nice little additions they kind of just threw on to add a little bit of extra pop. The insoles are a little crazy. There's a red one and there is a blue one. One of them looks like a little disc and the other one says Kenzo Minami on it with Reebok 58, which again stands for the year. And for those wondering, the print is exactly the same on both of the shoes it looks like or very close to. The tongue is really well padded again and it's purple on the underside. But man, they're, they're just really nice looking shoes. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about the Zoom Kinetica. I feel like this model could be a really heavy contender in 2020, uh, especially with a lot of the collaborations that we've seen so far. I mean, Kenzo, this one's really strong, but then there's the Conor McGregor one as well. And it seems like they're gonna be doing a lot more things with the model. Uh, which I'm all in for. So big shout out to Reebok though for sending this pair over to me, man. Unexpected and very thankful that they did that. It sounds like I got another package that they might be sending over my way soon. So hopefully you guys like these videos. And if you guys do, always helpful if you support them by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to let you know when those other uh, videos are gonna be posted. But it's definitely one of those models that I enjoy and I can't wait to see more colorways and more um, versions of the Kinetica dropping. But that is the video, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys would like to buy a pair again, check the link in the description. Have a good rest of the day and we'll see you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace guys.